Hi, hello, welcome back. This is James Sierra from Workship. Today I'm going to talk about login. And um, well, as you know, login in every application is very important because you want user to have access to a secure area that no other person can have access to. So be it website or mobile app, every development process, we usually include a login screen. It's a common thing. Um, so I'm going to show you how you can do this using actual RP, how you can simply have a username and password um, verification and then show an error if um, there's a wrong password, an error message is displayed. If there's a, uh, if there's a correct password, you just enter into the um, home screen or the user area. So for the purpose of this application is just to show you and I've prepared the screen already. These are just bunch of text and these are widget rectangle shape and these are um, some buttons that I've created which is for login with Google and login with Facebook. Obviously we're not going to be doing the session. The um, part we're going to focus on is the sign in with your email address which is this email address and password and I've added this text box here and text box here for password and a button for where the user is going to click or press and then they move into the user area also i've got here which is forgot password and also they can have um an interaction with this um menu as well and then obviously accepting terms and conditions and reading so generally this is what you kind of see in a login area um, in a login screen or a login page so what we're going to do next is uh, I'm, I'm going to show you firstly what we need is to name the widget we're going to use for the validation we need to name it so that we can easily understand when we are using the widget so this text box as you can see I've named it here in the text area which is called email address TST and uh, the password I've named it password TXT so that I can easily understand where these widgets are. So what we need to do is we need to put the interaction on the logins securely button, which I've created here. Obviously, I didn't really name it, but I can just name it now, which is say, I'll just say login BTN. That shows it's the button. And um, yeah, so that's done. Login BTN forgot password as well link I can name it as well it's a good practice to name your widget so that you don't password yeah. so yeah it's a good thing to name your widget so that you don't really forget where they are and because when you build this application and once they become more complex, if you have so many interaction, you need to manage it properly and having it named will help you to understand where your widgets are in the prototype. So what we need to do is to click on this login and we're going to use the onclick event, which is in the widget interaction and note. We're going to click the onclick event. And because we are doing some additional stuff, we're going to add a condition. The condition is going to be, you know, if a username is present, blah, 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 login. If a username is not present, then show an error message. Before we do that, I'll show you the error message we're going to display. I've made it invisible, but I'll just bring it out here. The error message is here. It's a dynamic panel and the error message is just going to show, sorry, your login details are incorrect. Please try again later. But once the page load, we don't want to show this. That is why we use this hidden feature so that we don't see this on page load. So we have this set and we can just put it at the back. So we have that now. So let's go back to the login securely. And we have login and then we go to adding the condition. Now, the condition we're going to add will be to check if something is present in any of these um, widget, which is the email and the password. And remember, I name the pass. Uh, I named the widget, so we're going to say um, 
text on widget which is um, this and then we're going to look for the widget that we're going to refer to which is the email text txt that we've created which is this field we select this email text txt and we look at this um, operator uh, like in programming you want to find out okay if something is equal to this display this if this so that's what we're just gonna do here um, the conditions so we have we're gonna make it simple which is just gonna be equal to value which is the value that um, the user enter so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it simple we're gonna say if the username is I'll say James Oriel at gmail.com then that's what we have for that username the second one we're going to create the second um, check for the password and we're gonna click this green button and we're gonna say the same thing as well come here and go to password txt equals then value and we're gonna say let's just make it very simple one two three four five um, six here one two three four five six here so now as you can see in the description here is giving us a guide already so that we already know if we are making a mistake or not so this um the description here is telling us if text on address .cst equals this blah 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 and this blah 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 and password text equals one two three four five six what do we do this is the condition that we've set when we want to open the home page or the account area page so we're just gonna say open link and we're gonna say um, open in current window open a new tab obviously we want to keep the current window so we click on the current window and we say page one then we click um, okay now once we've done that what we need to do next is we need to check now the else condition obviously the else condition is important as well because if we don't check the else condition then it's just gonna be irrelevant because we've checked whether the user exists so now we need to check if the user does not exist how do we display the error message that oh sorry your account is not um, is not valid so what we need to do next is to click back here again and let's say um no. we need to click on the on click event so that when we have the on click event it automatically gives us the if true um code block session so we had a condition for that and we say um And we add the condition to that and say if this is not true what do you want us to display so we want you to display something an interaction and we're just gonna say um, show error login which is this dynamic panel and how do we want to show you we can animate it as well and say is this slide on or slide up i'm just gonna say um none for now and probably i'm just gonna put it as light box so that we, what um actual mean by light box is you know when you log into a website or an application there's a mother pop-up box and the back area you know is a little bit dark so you have that uh, light box around the error message so that you actually know okay this is an error message that pops out and you can click any area within the screen to uh, to terminate it and to move on with your with your process so i will just click on okay and we have this so let's test this and let's see how it works if indeed it works so now we have this page now I'm just going to increase the zoom a little bit okay so what we need to do now is to say okay we've um, made the interaction if 
username is jamesoria at gmail.com and password is one two three four five six we want to go to page one so let us try it and see if it works now indeed it has worked because it shows here that we are on page one but let's just be sure so that we know we are already in page one so i'll just uh, get this phone area paste it here let me increase the zoom area and let's just say welcome james so i'm not gonna save this so let's test it again let's go back to the home page and let's see if we type in james Aria at gmail.com and we enter the password and we click login securely it gives us this page welcome james so this shows that this login um form is working and it's pretty easy how we can actually do it in Hackshow RP. Um, with just a little bit of formatting, I'll just make this in center position so that we can actually see it. Um, so I'll go back and refresh this page and it's, it's in center. If we go back again and we eat on James Aurel, enter James Aurel at gmail, gmail.com and then we eat one, two, three, four, five, six. It takes us to the page. Now we'll, we've checked and everything works fine. Now let's check if the error message we set is gonna show as well if we enter incorrect information. So I'll just enter any text and uh, let me enter the real password, one, three, five, six. You see that it displays, sorry, your login details are incorrect. Please try again later. And if we try other password again and say at, and we try to log in, it doesn't work. So we can't get into this um, page one anymore because the information that the user has provided is clearly wrong. So we can format the password area again properly to show in the text area how we want it to be displayed, maybe password. And we just, um, reload it again and try it one more time and say James Aurel at gmail.com password now user is not gonna see the password but you know they can just see it and we can click on welcome James Aurel if we go back again and we say James at Yahoo James Aurel at Yahoo dot com and one two three four five six it says sorry your login details are incorrect please try again so there's a simple tutorial on how you can create um login and verifying whether a user is currently present or not using actual rp i hope you've been able to learn one or two things in this tutorial if you have any question leave in the comment below and uh do not forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.